We'll move on now to the U.S. Stock index futures pointed to a slightly higher open today as investors braced themselves for news out of a slew of economic and political events. On Thursday, U.S. Um, investors will be paying close attention to a testimony by former FBI Director James Comey, who is um, set to speak and answer questions in front of the Senate Intelligence Committee, marking the first time the former director will speak publicly since being dismissed by President Donald Trump. On the data front, jobless claims are slated to come out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, followed by the quarterly services survey out at 10 a.m. And looking at the numbers there, all the indices are tilting uh, northwards there. Dow Jones Industrial Average up 0.18% as at the last check. S&P 500 up 0.16% and Nasdaq 0.36%. In Asia, markets closed mostly higher today ahead of what some analysts termed key risk events later in the day with apparent land to uh, ship missiles fired by North Korea in the morning added to the mix. The Kospi gained 0.15%. The Australian ASS 200 reversed earlier losses to close higher by 0.17%. Japan's benchmark Nikkei 225 index closed down by 0.38%. Stocks in Greater China were in the green. The Hang Seng index was up by 0.32%. The Shanghai Composite finished higher by 0.34%, and the Shenzhen Composite climbed 0.126%. Uh, this was after China reported better than expected trade data for the month of May. Away from the markets, um, Central Bank of West African States, BCEAO, has held its benchmark interest rate unchanged at 2.5%. Economic growth in the eight-nation zone is expected to be 6.9% in 2017, down slightly from a previous forecast of 7%, but above reported levels for the two previous years. And in Botswana, the largest tourism company, Wilderness Holdings, is the government's preferred beta for national airline Air Botswana, which is being privatized. Wilderness, which operates small aircraft under Wilderness Air, beats South Africa's SEMA at the last hurdle of the bidding process. Air Botswana has been making losses blamed on a large workforce and an aging fleet which prompted the government to launch a turnaround plan that includes cutting costs and cancelling unprofitable routes. It has already stopped flights to Harare and Lusaka. The government, in its invitation for Bates, had said it was open to joint ventures, ownership, franchising and concessions. Wilderness runs luxury resorts in eight African countries and Wilderness Air operates 35 small aircrafts in Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Namibia, mainly for tourists. Air Botswana operates four domestic routes and also flies to Cape Town and Johannesburg. And in Morocco, the parliament has approved the country's 2017 budget after months of delays because of negotiations in forming the new government after October elections. The budget sees a deficit of 3% of gross domestic products, down from 3.5% in 2016, as the country continues to repair its public finances after the huge deficit amassed in 2012. Morocco has done more than most North African countries to make painful reforms required by international lenders to curb deficits, such as ending fuel subsidies and freezing public sector hiring, the government still controls wheat and cooking gas prices. The budget sees inflation at 1.7% in 2017, while it expects public investments to reach 62 billion dirham and 190 billion dirham, including state-run company investments. Public investments include 8.9 billion dirhams in supporting farming, 3.7 billion in the industrial sector, 11.7 billion in renewable energies, and 20 billion in building ports. The budget will go into effect upon publication in the official bulletin. And Ethiopia's Prime Minister has met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu during a three-day visit to the region. 
The two leaders pledged to enhance cooperation in various fields including water, agriculture and security. Israeli and Ethiopian ministers signed bilateral agriculture agreements. When we come back after the break, we'll look at the commodities market. Just stay with us. <laughs>